so welcome back uh, students let us do one more numerical which is based on your quantum numbers concept so we have already done one numerical isn't it let's read this what values are assigned to quantum numbers of uh, 3s uh, 4px uh, 4dx square y square and 5 5dz square okay so uh, here uh, they've given us what are the this one quantum numbers so i should just speak about principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number let's start so first of all when i have to write this this is your first one 3s isn't it let us take this as so we have to divide all the quantum numbers isn't it so first of all let us write this is principal quantum number this is for azimuthal quantum number this is a magnetic quantum number so according to this 3s here this is your principal quantum number always so it is 3 now azimuthal quantum number we very well know it uh, starts from if for s orbital it's going to start with zero we have already studied this quantum number right so here m value it is m value how do you take 2 l plus 1 hasn't it right so that is uh, according to that m value is zero so i did this quantum number concept earlier please watch the video for that otherwise it will be a confusion for you all here in the second case we have 2 p uh, 4 px isn't it yes px so so again here this is the principal quantum number n is equal to 4 now what did i say for s l value is 0 for p l value is 1 right so m uh, value again it is 0 isn't it right so next one if i have 4 d x square y square not a problem they let them give them x square y square z square but this is important for here n is equal to 4 value if s is 0 p is 1 d value is always 2 isn't it 2 now m value it's going to range from right minus basically it is 2 l plus 1 so if i have to write 2 l plus 1 for this value how do i get 2 into 2 plus 1 total of 5 values that means it is 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 2 so instead of writing all i can write 2 minus 2 or plus 2 now i'm picking up the last one it is 5 dz square here n value is 5 now d value same like this 2 again the same you can add 2 into 2 uh, 2l plus 1 2 into 2 plus 1 so when i have to uh, take this so m uh, n is equal to 5 l is equal to 2 here you have what what values you can uh, uh, like uh, if i have to write m will have 0 values when i take uh, this uh, dx z square right so because uh, 5 dz square that's why it is 0 this is the concept now let's come back and do the next numerical which is based on quantum numbers fine so let's take out the next page yes so here what do they give me given below are set of quantum numbers for given orbitals name these orbitals so i have to name the orbitals right simple nothing big so both the ways so here they've given the set as a b c d and e so for the first one n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 1 right fine so m is equal to minus 1 that means when i have to see this 3 is it's going to start as 3p by p because l value for s is 0 for p value it is 1 so it is 3p so b let us take whichever is beyond, beside n strike that 5 first and immediately go to l and c right so uh, as i said for s orbital for s orbital uh, if it is s orbital l value is always 0 if it is p l is always 1 if it is d l is always 2 if it is f l is always 3 this, remember this right so here what do they give me they said l value is 2 l value is uh, 2 they said fine so if l value is 1 it is p if l value is 2 it is d so what is this 5d and next important 5d uh, you need to remember but here uh, the, okay i should write this this is 3p okay 3px or 3py this can be 3px or 3py now here in this case 5d but if it is 0 it is 5d z uh, square remember this this is very important i already did one z square in early numerical the third case here again n is equal to 4 means 4 if l is 1 it is nothing but p orbital here they said m value is uh, plus or minus 1 yes plus or minus 1 means it can be either 4px or it can be 4py okay this is over now let us do the uh, d part here again n is equal to 2 2 if l is 0 how much is this this is 2s 
isn't it so then if e but now this is n is equal to 4 4 l value is 2 l value is 2 means d but here they said okay let us write d but here they said m value is plus or minus 2 plus or minus 2 that means it can be 4d x square y square or it can be 4d x y okay this is the concept so hope the concept is clear students right let us come back and do one more numerical right calculate the angular momentum of the following okay they've given me angular momentum to calculate so third orbit so for calculating angular momentum uh, we've already studied isn't it so it is equal to n uh, when we have seen it should be uh, it is an integral multiple of uh, multiple of nh by 2 pi that is what uh, we have uh, studied isn't it so angular momentum of third orbit let us write it so angular momentum of third orbit fine so it is an it should be an integral multiple of nh by 2 pi now what is n here it is nothing but 3 n is 3 isn't it this one so it is 3h by 2 pi yes 3h by 2 pi so um, like uh, if i have to take it can be equal to 3h isn't it yes so i, I can write like this or i can just uh, write it as 3 h fine yes so let us do the second part angular momentum of 4p orbital okay angular momentum of 4p orbital i need to calculate 4p so this is orbit this is orbital for the orbital <coughs> we have a formula isn't it that is h by 2 pi into l uh, into l plus 1 this is the formula which we have right so how much does this come to h by 2 pi how much is l value here p and I, uh, as i already said for s l is equal to 0 for p l is equal to 1 so when i substitute that 1 into 1 plus 1 2 so what do i get i get root 2 here yes so root 2 fine then a minus of how much do I get? Like if I get f h by 2 pi. Yes, this is the value. So next one. Angular momentum of 3D orbital. So angular momentum of 3D orbital. So how do I do this? Here again the same formula h by 2 pi root l into l. Now d means l value is how much? Okay, let us write there h by 2 pi into root l into l plus 1. For a d orbital what is l value? For s it is 0. L uh, For p it is 1. For d it is 2. So 2 into 2 plus 1 that is 3. So what will this come back to? This will come to h by 2 pi root 6. So this is equal to root 3 by root 2 h by pi this is a sum so uh, like uh, how do i write this total number number of uh, we have a formula again i uh, they've asked me how to calculate angular momentum i did so here number of spherical nodes you should write that number of spherical nodes what is the formula which we use i'm giving it as an extra thing for writing the calculating the spherical nodes n minus l minus one this is the spherical nodes if i have to calculate angular nodes what is the formula it is l if i have to calculate the total nodes the formula is n minus 1 this is the sum hope this is clear students right let's come back and do one more numerical so what did you give me what are the number of nodes present in 1s 2s 2p and 3p okay nodes i need to calculate just now i have uh, written the formula in the previous uh, sum so what did i say number of nodes this is the formula total number of nodes isn't it so n minus 1 okay this is the thing let me use this formula so according to this formula if, if i have to use uh, uh, number of nodes okay, let us keep this formula here the first one so in the first case if i have to know total number of nodes so it is n minus 1 so n is 1 minus 1 so it is 0 first one is 0 okay number of nodes second case what do they give me they've asked me to find out b2s so uh, 
how many nodes we have uh, number of nodes so n minus 1 is 1 but how many spherical nodes n minus l minus 1 the spherical node is this fine so n is how much 2 okay n is 2 here it is for the second one n minus l minus 1 so according to this what is the n value here it is nothing but 2 minus what is the l value 0 minus 1 right so how much do i get i have one spherical node in this case i'm applying the same formula spherical node right let us take one more here we have already done this uh, this one isn't it? i'm using the same the third case 2p in 2p case right so here l value okay how many we have angular nodes isn't it so in uh, 2p value number of angular nodes are how many l value is for p is 1 so one angular node one angular node and the last one for 3p orbitals so 3p orbitals if i have to take how many are there angular nodes okay spherical nodes if i have to say p okay 3 are there isn't it 3 minus l value is 1 minus 1 so l value is how many angular nodes are how many it is 2 so it is 2 angular nodes this is a concept yes so i've used that formula in this case let's come back and do <coughs> numericals based on electronic configuration now so almost we are coming to 20, 60th question we have crossed 50 let's do this you like basically this is a concept as i said it's an electronic configuration let's come back and meet in the next session right so welcome back students uh, to one more session i think this, this will be the last uh, session for you Bahadur chemistry fine so here uh, i've been doing uh, almost 15 numericals which covers the whole structure of atom chapter this particular series will be helpful for your je series neat as well as cbse so today we are going to do the last part of the chapter that is numerical based on electronic configuration right so what it give us an atom of an element has 13 electrons okay let us write the data what what is given so if they've given me number of electrons are 13 done its nucleus has 14 neutrons okay right so neutrons number of neutrons are 14 which is given to me find out the atomic number if the number of electrons are 13 number of protons are also 13 because protons and electrons are equal unless until we add something yes now what should i uh, write okay i find out the atomic number and approximate atomic weight indicate the arrangement of electrons and the electrovalency of the element okay all the questions are clubbed together right so what if i should i find i have to find the atomic number okay Atomic number is always, we very well know, it is equal to the number of protons, not the number of electrons. Remember that. Protons, it is equal to 13. Atomic number is 13. Now, they have asked me to find atomic weight. So, atomic weight, approximate atomic weight. I am not writing the correct one. So, what is uh, atomic weight equal to? It is number of protons plus number of neutrons, isn't it? So, we have discussed this also earlier. Neutrons. How much is protons? 13. How much is neutrons? 14. It is equal to 27 is atomic weight. They have asked me to write what is the electrovalency. We indicate the arrangement of electrons and electrovalency. So, arrangement of electrons is nothing but, this is B, this is C. Ele arrangement of electrons is nothing but electronic configuration, isn't it? So, I am writing the electronic configuration of this. So, how do I write according to Abdo principle? 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, this is 10, 3s2, 3p1 so 13 together now electrovalency okay what is electrovalency basically if i have to write so electrovalency means okay, let us write this first right so basically electrovalency is number of electrons present in the valence shell how many electrons are present in the valence shell this is n is equal to 3 isn't it so this is n is equal to 3 means the number of electrons present in the valence shell is 3 so 3 is a valence what how much it is plus 3 so plus 3 is the electrovalency so once again electrovalency means number of electrons present in the valence shell so last one you need to take this is all n is equal to 2 subshell n is equal to 1 subshell this is n is equal to 3 subshell so that's why the electrovalency is plus 3 hope the concept is clear students right so next one they've given us a neutral atom of an element has uh, two uh, 
टू के एट एल नाइन एम एंड टू एन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके राइट एंड फाइंड आउट द फॉलोइंग विद गिवन दिस डाटा आई नीड टू फाइंड एटमिक नंबर टोटल नंबर ऑफ एस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ पी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टोटल नंबर ऑफ डी बैलेंसी ऑफ द एलिमेंट टोटल नंबर ऑफ अनपेड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ओके सो टू के के एल एम एन दैट्स इज इज गिवन right so when i have to write this electronic configuration with a neutral element atom with the same thing we let us write what actually is this so what are we writing electronic configuration they have not given any uh, element name right so neutral atom they given i'm using the same so electronic configuration of neutral atom right so what do they give me basically if i have to write 1s2 it comes under which one k shell 2s2 2p6 it comes under l shell 3s2 3p6 uh, 3d1 uh, comes under m shell then 4s2 comes under n shell isn't it yes so here when i have to write atomic number first of all i need the atomic number what is atomic number atomic number is nothing but number total number of electrons in the neutral atom now i can take electrons because earlier i've been telling you to take protons but here this is neutral atom that's why not a problem you can write total number of electrons so total number of electrons here how many electrons are there uh, electrons in the neutral atom total are how many just count 9 10 11 ट्वेंटी 4 5 6 7 8 so 8s electrons 8 electrons then they asked me total number of p electrons p are how many count 3 6 6 6 12 12 are there next what do you see there's a total number of d electrons how many are d there is only d 1 fine so let us write that also d electron is only 1 Right. Then they have asked me to calculate the valency of the element. Then I have to calculate number of unpaid electrons. Let us turn the page and right. I need to write the valency of the element. Okay. Hope this is clear, students. I don't know why did I write this. I see here they have given us one, k l means one s two, eight means it can l can accommodate eight, but it is two s two two p six six plus two eight nine. Nine uh, I have divided into three s two three p six three d one six seven eight nine n that is four s two n shell. Okay. Now I need to uh, finish off calculating valency of the element. So valency of the element means okay. Let us write. Let us go back and check. So what is the valency? If I have to see, it can uh, uh, like show plus two. It can lose these two electrons, so it becomes plus two. It can also lose one electron because this is stable, isn't it? Six plus two, so two electrons. That is plus two valency. It can also show plus three valency. So it can show me plus two valency and it can also show me plus three valency, electron valency. Now because outermost shell, the, that is the one in the outer shell, the penultimate D shell, right? Last one. I need to calculate what I have to calculate total number of unpaid electrons. Okay, let us write that total number of unpaid electrons. So here. I uh, hope this is clear. The uh, electrovalency and uh, total number of unpaid electrons concept. Okay, so total number of unpaid electrons. So total number of unpaid electrons are how many? If I have to see here, this is paired. This is also paired. This is also paired. This is also paired. This is also paired. So only one unpaid electron that is of three D. So number of unpaid electrons one that is three D. Hope the concept is clear, students. Let's come back and do one more numerical. What do they give me here? Right. So they said, they if there are if there were three possible values, minus half, zero, plus half, right. for the spin magnetic quantum number m s. Okay. How many elements? We very well know. Uh, principal quantum number is denoted by n, azimuthal by l, spin uh, magnetic quantum number by m s, and spin quantum number by uh, m s. 
isn't it right now they have given spin quantum number ms how many elements would they be in the fourth period of the periodic table in 4s 4p and 4d respectively so how many element elements would be there in the fourth period they said fine so what do they give me n is equal to 4 basically okay let us see fourth period means of periodic table 4s 4p 4d everything they've given us right let's write here when i see the first one n is equal to 4 for s orbital what is l value equal to 0 now when i have to write s value this one it can be this set minus half 0 plus half minus half this set 0 this set plus half this set right fine so uh, that means 3 in there are 3 in what 4s orbital there are 3 values in 4s this is what they have given isn't it that means there are 3 in 4s 3 values in 4s let's come back and see 4p next uh, here in this case now same n is equal to 4 only again here in the second case p value for p value what is l equal to 1 now ms value let us see uh, they said uh, what did they say like uh, m according to this formula it, uh, i have to reach 2l plus 1 what is l value 2 into 1 1 plus 1 it is listen uh, three, uh, 2 uh, 2 plus 1 3 3 values 3 values means it can have 0 minus 1 and okay one, minus 1 and plus 1 right so this is your first one this is your second one so how many values are there they are 9 9 in 4p isn't it yes so there are 9 in 4p right let's come back and do the next one for 4d again for 4d n is equal to 4 here also n is equal to 4 here also now what is l value here for s it is 0 for p it is 1 for d l value is 2 now according to this formula 2l plus 1 it will be 2 into 2 plus 1 total of 5 5 values so how much n value will be it will be 0 here it is minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 plus 2 so many values so total how many 15 in 3d 15 in 3d isn't it thus what is this now how can i write uh, this one i can uh, write it as uh, 4s3 because the 3 in 4s 4p9 and 3d15 in all uh, 27 elements would have uh, in the fourth the twin and 27 elements would have uh, been in uh, fourth period that is what is a concept total let us write what we said that uh, that means what did i get i i got for us how many three okay, three are over how many four piece nine how many 3ds 15 now count 15 18 plus 9 total how many 27 elements so 27 elements would have been in would have been in fourth period this is your sum yes so hope this is clear students let's come back and do one more numerical based on the configuration